Hi everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Attic Creations. Today we're going to finish up my office tour. I had originally done it as like my desk area and then the right side of my closet, center side or center area, left side, and then the back area behind me. Um, but it was going to be over an hour. And so my husband decided that we should probably just divide that up. And I thought that was a really good idea too, because who wants to sit on their computer for an hour and watch somebody's office? So with that said, today's video is my closet. My closet is where I hold a lot of stuff. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed with how much stuff I put in there. Every time I move stuff around and I'm pulling things out, I am amazed at how much I can fit into my closet. So today's video, again, will be the closet. It will not be the drawers quite yet. I do have three units with drawers in them, and I will share those probably like next week. I need to refilm those because, again, filmed everything vertically instead of horizontally. So <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> Bear with me. But yeah, no, I am really excited to share my closet with you and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so we're going to see the right side of my closet. This is walking into my closet and I will pause things. So up top here, I have I've gotten rid of a lot of my Stampin' Up! stamps. I can't remember the official total, but it was about 500 stamps and, and die sets that I got rid of. I now only have four rows of my boxes. And those are, some of those are in design, and some of those are the Tim Holtz brand that he was selling for a while. I don't believe he is selling those anymore. But you can still get boxes like this at any of the home goods stores, um, they, you can get them on discount a lot there, which is so handy. Um, let's see, what is it? Container store and probably Target. I would imagine that they at this point have these as well. They are so nice. I did find that the, the double one that I could put two rows of Stampin' Up! stamps in will not hold the close to my heart stamps. They are wider, especially with the dies and such. So I only have a few of those left and I've kind of moved those to other areas or I'm using them um, with, let's see, with my lawn fawn stamps and with assorted dies. So I've gotten rid of a few. I've kept a few. I've used some in my kitchen now. I have uh, two boxes up top there that I'm still kind of not sure how I'm storing those. Um, that's where they're at for right now. And that is my photo paper is in the small one at the very top on the right. And then just kind of typing paper. Um, so any copy papers, anything I use with my printer is in the far right container. Those will be changing soon. I'm just not sure how that's going. The second row there where you see the E, I, S, and W, those are my close to my heart stamps. When I have a stamp in the front, like I have one in the front of the A right there, that is one I need to input into OneNote. I was using Evernote for a while. I have switched to OneNote. I love OneNote so much better than Evernote. I um, am able to find things a lot easier, but that's just my, my preference. Some people really, really love Evernote, and that's fine. I used it for years. I'm just changing. So, but that's my tell that I need to enter that stamp set. That is one of the new ones for the Cherish paper line. I love, love that paper. Okay, my next shelf there, you can see my Baking Memories book that I just recently did. Behind that is where I have, at this point, my individual dies for Close to My Heart, as well as the idea books. And then my printer is there, my Epson printer. I love my Epson printer. And I'm going to go, let's see here. I'll talk about those top shelves. I don't think that I have a separate video for those. So on the far left, the very top shelf and the second shelf down are kind of my backup stuff, my Things like I've got my ink refills for my Copic markers. I've got school boxes for the kids. I have photo boxes for each of the family members and then family photos as well as my um, idea books. 
Sorry, I'm looking at those going, what are you called? Um, that happens way more than it should. <laughs> so those are really nice shelves for me. It used to hold a lot of my crafts. And I decided that the right side of my area was going to be more for my scrapbooking area. So I moved, and you might have heard me say recently that I had moved because I totally ripped apart my office and moved my right side to my left side and my left side to my right side. So this is what ended up happening, and it's working out really well. On the third shelf down there, I have a lot of my close, not close to my heart, um, creative memories, old album pages that I am redoing as well as What's in that bucket behind? Oh, some pictures that I still need to go through. So that's kind of a go through um, area. And then let's see here. We're going to go down a little further. Okay, let's pause this. This next shelf is my, as you can read, current Christmas cut above mix-ins and retired close to my heart papers. My retired box is really full and I need to start using a lot more of that so that I can have more go into the retired and more come into that current. Uh, the one that doesn't have a label is actually Halloween. I keep forgetting to make a label for that. So that has been my way of storing it. Each of the packs of paper are in one of the envelopes for the scrap rack. I was going to be putting everything into the close to my heart envelopes, but they don't fit as nicely into these. So I'm sticking with the pa the paper packet pouches, paper pouches for the scrap rack. It's working out really well for me. I have, um, let's see, mini books, my pens, and miscellaneous items to the left of that on that shelf that is just past those containers. Oh, and the containers I'm using for my shelves, for the most part, I should say, all of my paper is now in these, I don't remember that they're called, but they are from the container store and they are extremely reasonable. Like I'm talking that one small one that's supposed to say Halloween on it, I think was like $3.99 or $4.99 for that one bucket, which at the container store, that's unheard of. The most expensive one I want to say is $8.99, but I could be wrong. And that would be the one that has the current paper in there. I love these containers. They have helped me out so much. Like I said, everything I'm doing right now is helping me to stay as organized as possible. And it is a godsend. Okay, let's continue down. So this bottom area... Yes, I know I have a very large cord right there, but I haven't figured out how to have my cricket in the center of my closet without having a cord. Apparently it needs power. Okay, so those um, little tubs at the bottom, I believe are the InDesign ones. They might be a knockoff brand because they don't have that front flap. That holds all of my lawn fawn. And at the very bottom, I have assorted tubs that have um, either pictures, backup cards, or miscellaneous art projects or supplies. I'm still kind of not sure where I'm putting all of those items. And then over at the bottom, over there on that other side, I have one of the bins. It's a There's double bins, which is nice, that has all of the lawn font I still need to enter into my system, which I'm cringing as I'm saying that. And then there is two or three bins full of stamps and dies that are already in there, but they are miscellaneous companies that I have collected over the years. And then at the very bottom, I have some backup paper packs and I have some wood stamps in that bucket and my embossing gun is down there as well. So those are just items that are in the process and um, that I use every once in a while, but I wanted to make sure that they were close and handy. Okay, let's move to the center of the room now. We have my trolley, which is a, actually a kitchen cart that I got on Amazon. It holds my Gemini and my Cricut, which is awesome. Um, again, I have not figured out how to make them work without power, so I do have extension cords which isn't the greatest, but it does work for what I need it to do. And I just have to remember they're there so I don't trip myself. 
um, let's see, the first shelf there, or actually the drawers, hold my um, Cricut pens, any of the little bits I need for the Cricut on the right side, on the left side holds any of my backup um, plates and such for the Gemini. On the side to the left is a black like office ba uh, basket that we've attached to there, and that holds the plates for the Gemini that I use the most frequently. And then there's a little hook on the right-hand side that holds Cricut mats. <clears throat> the ones I haven't used yet is what I usually store there. The first shelf there holds my embossing folders. And I've tried to go through those and get rid of some, and I am not succeeding. I keep thinking, oh, I might need this one. But my hope is in the future to narrow that down to one tray of really needed ones or find a different way of storing them because I'm starting to run out of room. As you can see, there's a few sitting on top. The container next to my embossing folders is from the container store. It is one of the giant ones. I believe it's the $8.99 one. I have multitude of folders in that with each is labeled by paper color and that is my scraps and I use those frequently. That has been one of the best ways I've found to store my scraps because I can take that bucket upstairs for the Cricut we have upstairs to use when my friend Nancy's over and we're cutting or I can just pull that out and use it while I'm cutting downstairs and as well as the fact that it makes it really easy to sort out paper on the desktop and then put them into their little files very quickly. Um, I've found that for me, that is the best way to store stuff so far for scraps. The bottom uh, shelf has some of the iris thin containers and those are ready for me to create gifts like mini albums and such, sometimes layouts, on the right-hand side. And then on the left-hand side is some tubs. Again, the one's iris. Actually, they're both iris. And I have little prizes in there that are close to my heart, things that I've gotten on sale or my upline has sent me that are not things that I would use. And so I put them in there for when I can do some prizes. And uh, with the thought of that would be on my YouTube channel. So I'm still trying to figure out how to do that. Okay, as you can see, there is drawers behind that. And I have another section, I think, that shows that better. But let's move forward and see what I can share. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, this is one of my favorite shelves up top there. My daughter got that, I want to say it cold, and she let me use it, and I've been able to keep it, and I love it. I get to store little bits here and there. I've got some albums that I've done in the past that I haven't shared. I should share those. Uh, I've got some ribbon. I've got trinkets and cards and stuff that people have sent to me, and just just a fun shelf. It holds a lot of of fun items and it makes me very happy. I have a tiered tray. Sometimes that tiered tray is upstairs. I have a square one that I will switch out with that one. Right now I'm in a square tiered tray upstairs mood, um, but again, that one can go upstairs as well. In the center is my scrap rack and that I have um, my kids' baby album pictures there right now because that's what I'm currently working on in my free time. Uh, to the very right of my scrap rack right now, I moved all of my um, embellishments and gems that I had in my other scrap rack to this one. So the box that you see there, it's kind of like a little treasure chest, that has all of my embossing powder in it. I struggled for years. I had drawers full of embossing powders and I don't use them as often as I should, and so I wanted them someplace. This little chest I got, I believe, at Michael's. I know I'm trying to remember where I get things, so in case you're really like, oh my gosh, I have to have that, I can tell you where to go. And I believe it was at Michael's, and probably on sale, because I really try to buy things on sale. Could have been on a Hobby Lobby, too. But it does hold all of my little jars of embossing powder, and it's very easy to go in there and find what I need. 
even though there is quite a bit in there. Um, but I, like I said, I don't emboss that often. So that is very handy. Here is my drawer units. And these I got at Home, Home Depot. I originally had multitude of these where they went almost clear across the room. I think we had a corner unit as well. Um, and then I had this type of a unit without the drawers on top of these. And these are the items that because of the paper load that I have, they started bowing. So when we were looking to redo the office, which I still haven't finished my painting part, and we want to put like a tabletop on top of this, these drawer units, um, I kept these three units only. And so on the right-hand side, I have embellishments, foil, um, let's see, sequins, miscellaneous stuff. And I will share all of these drawer units in another video. In the center, I have in the larger drawers, I've got my adhesives, I've got envelopes, and I've got backup adhesives. On the left-hand side is a lot of my punches. I just went through all of my punches, and I am happy to say I got rid of about 100 of them. Unfortunately, I still have a lot, but now they aren't stacked in a way where I can't see them. So again, I will share that in the future with you. Yeah, I love how my storage is right now because it's all accessible. Now let's move to the left side of my closet. Straight back in that corner unit is where I now have the majority of my crafting items. At the bottom, I just kind of have some organized items. Then I have sewing. I have miscellaneous. Um, let's see, I have a card making shelf for some uh, clients cards that I do. And then the top two shelves, which you can see one of those right now, is my painting area because I love paisleys and polka dots, my wood painting, as well as Idaho Custom Creations has um, wood tiered tray items that are to die for. So, of course, I have to have a place to store those. So those are all over there. And as you can see there in the center, there is, a, I should say, in the center on the left side, just past the corner unit, there is my paper rack. My husband built that for me off of an idea online. It was a gentleman that was making something kind of similar. Uh, Jace just kind of went on steroids for this one, which is amazing. Uh, it's not perfect, but it is 100% usable for me. It works for what I need, and that's all that matters. So I do have all my papers stored by paper there, and I can just walk in there and grab the paper I need. I have another small little trolley there. That one's one of the Raz somethings from uh, Ikea. That one's an Ikea one. Yeah, I have two Ikea ones right now. And um, on top there, that little gray basket is holding all of the kids' school items by year. Um, I put my projects that I'm currently working on in the lower trays right there. So let's move forward a little bit. Okay, let's see here. So up top there in those brown buckets are my wood projects. The white um, boxes up there are from Idaho Custom Creations. And then above my paper rack, I have my Disney papers, Universal Studios, Christmas, and Summer. These are non close to my heart. These are things I've collected over the years. And at some point in my life, I need to use them. I really, really need to use them. I have so much. Okay, so then we get to this is another of the units that I had. Let me back that up a smidge from Home Depot. It was the only other unit that I did keep. And I have at the top, I've got miscellaneous cardstock that's the backup. I have chipboard up there. I have page protectors. I have assorted things that I need at the very, very top. And then as you go down, like you can see, spring, Christmas, fall, baby, baby, kids. So I have a bin there that I is just kind of miscellaneous right now. And then I have travel. I have one that's just for my husband. It's got picture, or pictures, papers for his baby book that I plan to redo at some point. I've got vinyl, wedding and graduation, and then my graphic 45 that I have not been able to part with. I've parted with a lot, but I haven't been able to part with what's in that bucket. At the very bottom, I have my binding equipment, 
for when I do calendars and such. So um, it's, it's handy, and I don't want to get rid of that yet. Also, I have on the left-hand side of my paper organizer there the retired paper. So anything retired goes on to that left side. Everything on the right side, aside from, you know, the staples of pewter, um, <clears throat> charcoal, black, craft, white, and French vanilla. Those are the only other ones that I have on the left-hand side. Everything else is a uh, current paper. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and play today. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. Leave a comment and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.